guys, in this video I'm going to run through what a geometric sequence is. So this is more of a GCSE lesson on geometric sequences. If you're playing A-level, then check out my uh, A-level video on geometric sequences where we go into a lot of greater detail. So, what is a geometric sequence? So a geometric sequence is a sequence where you get from term to term by multiplying the previous term by a constant number. Now this constant number that we're multiplying the terms by is called the common ratio. So let's have a look at some examples. Okay, so this guy sat right here then is a geometric sequence. We know it's geometric because we're multiplying each term by two. So one times two is two. Two times two is four. 4 times 2 is 8, 8 times 2 is 16, etc. So it carries on infinitely like that, multiplying each term by 2 to get to the next one. Say that we were asked to find the uh, common ratio, then we can do that. Uh, we could do 2 divided by 1, which would give us 2. We could do 4 divided by 2, which is also 2. We could do 8 divided by 4, which is also 2. So to find the common ratio, if it's not immediately obvious, divide a term by the term before it. So when I did 2 divided by 1, I was doing the second term divided by the first term, etc. Okay, let's check out some more. Okay, so 4, 12, 36, 108. So with this sequence, it's not quite as obvious what the ratio might be. So to find it, we can do 12 divided by 4, which would give us 3. We could do 36 divided by 12, which is 3. We could do 108 divided by uh, 36, which is also 3. So the common ratio with this sequence is 3. Let's say we were asked to find the next term in the sequence. We would then do 108 times 3. And that would give us 324. So the next term in the sequence after 108 would be 324. Okay, so looking at this one, we can also have negative common ratios as in this sequence so to find the ratio we can do minus 20 divided by 10 and that will give us minus 2 if you're like me and you're always paranoid that you might have made a mistake let's check it as well let's do 40 divided by minus 20 and that's also going to give us minus 2 so here a common ratio is indeed minus 2. So let's say we wanted to work out the next term after minus 80 then we would do minus 80 times by minus 2 and that will give us positive 160. So 160 is the next term in the sequence. So we can also have fractional common ratios, so if we have a fractional common ratio then the sequence is decreasing. Whenever we've had a positive um, integer common ratio the sequence increases, but if we have a fractional um, common ratio then the sequence is decreasing. So here then if we want to find a common ratio we could do 5 divided by 10, which would give us 0 0.5, or we could think of that as a half. Uh, so here the common ratio then of the sequence would be 1 half, let's just check it, let's also do 2.5 divided by 5, which would indeed also give us 0 0.5, or 1 half. So here if we want to find the next term in the sequence, we would do 
1.25 times 1 half, which is exactly the same as dividing it by 2, and that would give us 0 0.625. Okay, let's look at another one. So, believe it or not, we can even have thirds as our common ratio. I've seen this pop up a time or two in papers. So, we find the common ratio in the exact same way. Let's do 3 root 3, so the second term, divided by 3, the first term. Now, that's the same as doing 3x divided by 3. So if we do that, we would just get left with 1x. So 3 root 3 divided by 3 here is going to leave us with root 3. So the common ratio here in this sequence is root 3. So the next term would be 27 times root 3. So we'd get 27 root 3. And then to get the next term after that, we multiply by root 3 again. So essentially we'd have 27 root 3 root 3 root 3 root 3 is equal to 3 and 27 times 3 would give us 81. So that would be our next two terms in our sequence then. Okay, so a classic uh, question as well that I've seen pop up in papers quite a lot is uh, multiple choice questions where you're asked to identify a geometric sequence from a set of sequences. So let's have a little play around with these four sequences then and see what we can see. So if we're looking at this first chap, 2, 5, 8, 11, 14, then we'd probably notice that here we've got a common difference between terms. So we're constantly adding 3. So 2 plus 3 is 5, 5 plus 3 is 8. 8 plus 3 is 11, etc. So this top uh, top left guy in red is actually a linear sequence, or we can also call them arithmetic sequences because we're adding a constant amount each time, so a common difference. So it's not that guy. So if we look at the chap next to him in green, 3, 7, 13, 21, 31, if we check out what's going on with his differences, 3 to 7, we would add 4. 7 to 13, we would add 6. 13 to 21, we would add 8. 21 to 31, we would add 10. So here the differences are increasing by a constant amount. So the differences are going up in twos, like that. So when we've got a situation like that, that tells us we're dealing with a quadratic sequence, so that's not our guy. So, if we look at this guy in the bottom left, the blue sequence here, this is something else also new to GCSE lately, it's called a Fibonacci sequence, and in fact, this is the Fibonacci sequence. So in a Fibonacci sequence, you get uh, your next term by adding the two previous terms together. So the sequence starts 1-1, one, one, and then to get the third term, we do 1 plus 1, which is 2. Then to get the fourth term, we do 1 plus 2, which is 3. And then to get the fifth term, we do 2 plus 3, which is 5, etc. So that carries on infinitely too. So that's not our geometric sequence. And then almost like I planned for it to be the last sequence we come across, let's look at this yellow one. So here we can see to get from term to term, we're multiplying by 10 each time. So 10 times 10 is 100. 100 times 10 is 1,000. And 1,000 times 10 is 10,000. So this yellow guy down in the bottom right is our geometric sequence. Cool. So that's a little introduction to geometric sequences, guys. Hope you find it useful. As I say, if you're playing A-level, check out my other video on these or my other set of videos on these where we go into far much more detail. Cheers, guys.